Oh, wow. Uh, the life of Persephone and the mysteries of Elysius, uh, as told by me, the earth goddess. You know, I want to throw some, throw my show around now that I'm on earth for the first time. Take you on a, a wild walk. Uh, what happened was that uh, the earth goddess, the earth goddess Demeter and uh, my brother Zeus, oh yeah, they walked on the wild side and got to fucking each other in a, like a feeding frenzy cock pussy. Uh, and when you know it, Demeter, the ultimate fertile chick, becomes pregnant mm -hmm. by her own brother. But damned if she ain't going to have that baby anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, nine months later, the natural consequence of this unnatural act. <laughs> Persephone is born. But because of the inbreeding uh, of her parents, uh, Percy's chromosomes are so weirded out. Her synapses are like firing wildly. Uh, 24-7. She's naturally tripping. Without drugs? And uh, she refuses to go to school. Percy doesn't want to go to school. She wants to play with herself. <laughs> in the blue buttercups. In the meadow. Nobody can watch her there, huh? But, alas, who is lurking in the meadowlands? That slime bucket, horny old geezer, Hades from the underworld? Oh, yeah, he's, he's less than after Percy because she's like the ultimate hippie princess. So, yeah, she weaves the wildflowers into headbands. And she what does she do with the squirrels? Yeah, talks with squirrels, huh? Oh, yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, this is coming down. Uh, where is Zeus? Macho, big ball bastard. Got your head stuck up in the clouds all the time. Uh, Zeus, huh? None too proud that he fathered. Yeah, a child with his sister. Embarrassing offspring, so just sweep her under the carpet. The consequence, Hades, of uh, entraps the single parent Percy in the meadow of the blue buttercups. And he abducts her as his sex slave into hell. Well, uh, after the abduction of her child, Demeter, she drops out of the god and goddess Mount Olympus. Yeah, oh, you know, uh, and comes down to earth disguised as an old woman, disguised as a hag. Uh, on earth so that she can search for her daughter, her lost daughter. I mean, she twines up posters everywhere. Where's my girl? Uh, all the way down to Elysius, 22 kilometers south of Athens. Little kingdom down there, ruled by King Celius and um, Demeter. Utterly miserable. 
weeping like only a woman can or relate to. Uh, yeah, weeping. Oh, the, the village women, they're sympathetic. They take her to the king, Closius, and he says, look, bear your breasts for me. Uh, I want to look at those Zeus molested Malonas. Light coming in, huh? Kind of freaky. Uh, yeah, so she does. And uh, then he get, says, well, look, great, because the, with those protuberant, <laughs> luscious breaths, you can be the nanny for me in my court, huh? And, uh, oh, King Celius, huh? He loves this new eye candy, Demeter. Yeah. Wandering through the scene. Naked breaths all the time. Well, uh, um, hey, Olympian gods, what do they do all this time? Nothing. About Demeter's anguish. You know, Demeter is like, she stools and finally blows up. And, and she has a lot of power. To, I'm telling you, uh, Demeter, Earth Goddess. I ought to know. I am the Earth Goddess. Uh, she controls magic rituals uh, that germinate seeds and grow crops. Okay, she's the one who, <laughs> you know. Uh, so Demeter decides to send a potent signal to the Olympian gods. Look, remember, I control. Women control fertility, rebirth, uh, growing seeds within our bodies to make babies, and outside our bodies to make bread, you know. Uh, yeah, we control all that, huh? And uh, you know what? This year, I am going on ritual strike. Uh-uh, I ain't doing my thing. I'm not performing my role on Earth until one, until I get my <laughs> girl, Persephone.